Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to Day 26 of the Inktober Tangles for 2023. We're moving right along. <laughs> Just a few days to go. Uh, if you're new to this playlist, this is my sketchbook that I made. It is five inches by five and a half, and it is a disc bound system. If you're interested in knowing more, there's a link to a video in the description. And also, if you're new, please look in the description for a link to the introductory videos and to day one that explains how I'm putting this together with the tiles that we're using. And this is a Zentangle tile. And I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I would encourage you to put the names and the days and who deconstructed these on the back of your tile. Um, again, we're using a three and a half inch Zentangle tile. And you can do this on any paper that you have. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do the W2 string. Just get your pen out and draw every day. That's what Inktober is all about. All right. Um, if you happen to post on social media, please use at BVL underscore tangles in your post, and then it informs me that you have put a post either on Facebook or Instagram. And the hashtag is Inktober Tangles 2023. All right. Um, this one is Melia Crown by Susan Yao. And she's a CZT with the Seven Forest Five Rivers group who does the list of the Inktober patterns. And um, this is just a fun, easy little pattern that you can do all kinds of things with. And you can do it with these little flower shapes, however you want to, the little petals, and just have fun with it. Okay? Um, I think that was all I needed to say. <laughs> that one. Oh, I know what it was. I am using a Micron 01, and a graphite pencil, and a blending stump, also known as a tortillon. And I keep this in there because I'm always pushing down too hard on the tip, and that just kind of helps it stick out for me. <laughs> okay? Uh, like I said, looking through the just a few posts that I found that people had done, um, they had some fun little variations. So we are going to put this in my next slot, which happens to be purple. Okay. And the way that she does it, I'm going to try to put one over here and one going this way. So... We'll see how it looks. <laughs> okay, so the way that I've been doing it, and I'm trying to keep my hand out of the shadows, is if you look at these, see the little curls that they have here? That's the way that I've been starting mine. So over in this corner, I'm just going to start with a little loop. And come around and make a kind of a wide bottom and then come back up. And I just realized I didn't leave myself much room for a flower, so it's going to have to be a short flower on here. That's okay. Normally I practice inside a little square that measures the same size as this, but I didn't do that this time. I just kind of went crazy on that large piece of paper. This one 
drawing all kinds of fun ones. Okay, so we do that and then just put, this is the outside of your flower or your vase, whatever you want this to be. And then she puts an aura along that. And then your little flower or leaves come up. So we're just going to do this one kind of short. This is a new plant. <laughs> it hasn't grown very much. And bring it back around. All right. And now we put in the back of this flower or vase. So we're just going to draw behind. See that? And then come back down this way. And then we're going to fill that in because that's the dark inside of the vase or flower. I keep thinking of this as a vase, but okay. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> so from here, you just, you're going to decorate your little, your flower or your little pot, whatever you want it to be. Like you could put little veins that go up. Oh, that one didn't go very well, did it? Okay, no mistakes, right? And then, like I say, there's all kinds of things you can do with the little bottom of it. So I'm going to start here and just as it gets a little bit bigger, we're going to go out a little bit. Same thing. And then just... I'm just very lightly putting my pin down. And then same thing on this side. All right, and then we'll, we're gonna let these be flowers. So bring our stem down. Just put a little dark spot there and let's do the other side so for this one I'm going to come down a little bit and do the same thing make our little roundish bottom Come around, and this time I'm going to do like a little fescue on this side. Okay. And then we're going to put our edge that comes down. And for this one, I'm going to do like this. Okay. So I'm going to do just a little petal that comes up and then another one next to it and another next to that. And then the same thing on this side. And then we're going to put the area that goes behind and darken that in. Okay. And then for this one, I'm going to do like this. I just kind of liked how that looked and it's different. And for doing that, again, I have a Micron 01 and I am just going to Barely let it touch and then come down. And then you just have these little dash like things. And I'm not trying to make them line up. Just, I'm going to go ahead and go out a little and come back. Give that rounded look. 
Okay, same thing on this side. I'm just going to very softly, barely touch my pen. I like watching Maria when she does things similar to this. And it just makes such a easy difference to your pattern. Okay, this one's kind of open. And then we're going to put our stem that goes out this way. And that one I'm just going to put an easy line. Let's do that here too, just simple as it goes down. All right. I don't know why I just thought it needed that. <laughs> you could put little petals here. You can, you can do all kinds of things. This is just a very simple, organic pattern, and I just love how it looks. Have fun with it. All right, for shading, I'm going to come at the bottom of these and just add a little bit of graphite. And then where this is going to kind of come in, and then a little bit down here along the bottom. So I'm hoping that makes it look like it kind of squeezes in there. <laughs> and then just kind of soften this and pull it up. And then same thing here. And then with what's left on my blending stump, I'm just putting a little bit on the edges. Okay. Maybe a tiny bit at the top of each of these petals. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this one and basically do the same thing. So I'm going to put some graphite here. A little bit coming up these veins and then a little below this border that we put and some along the bottom. And then soften it, blend it, push it up so that you don't have a harsh line there. And then same thing here, pull that down a little bit. And then just carefully put a little bit into your petals. All right, here we go. <laughs> Just a simple little flower. I think they're so cute. All right. Let's zoom out. That was quick. And here are my examples. I have one that I threw in the trash because <laughs> it looked like a cactus taking a bath. So these look better. All right. Thank you again for joining me on day 26. We only have five days to go. Oh, my goodness. Please use at BBL underscore tangles. If you post your tiles to social media, I love your comments. I love seeing what you do. And I hope you'll be back tomorrow for day 27. Thank you. Bye.